bloggers pow Right, let's have a look at four random Master System games. Right, so first off we have Cloud Master. Oh, Taito. Oh, and Hot B as well. Hot B did the rather excellent Steel Empire. So that's nice. Do you know what? I don't think I've played this. I do own this, but then again, you know, it's the curse of the games collection. You buy games, you don't play games. And that's very much the case with me here. Uh, okay, you appear to have one button. Uh, okay. And this is quite jolly, isn't it? Little flying cloud man. Oh, there was a turtle down there. I wonder if that was a pickup or something. I don't know. No, definitely. No other buttons doing. Oh no, the turtle's evil. No! Oh, screw you, turtle. Oh shit, and I'm being fried. Fried for, by some bowls of ramen, by the looks of things. Because that happens. Didn't appear to do much. But hey, it's a P. Any P's a W, I guess. More flying bowls of ramen. Right, so remember the turtles are bad. Teenage Mutant Bad Time Turtles. Yep, take that Bad Time Turtle. Oh, I haven't done a Master System video in a long time. I thought it was about time we I did one. As you always know with these videos, I'm putting this stuff directly out my ass the night before and getting fried by Wonder Boy's green-headed cousin. And in the game. I guess it's those things that look a bit like Oh, they look a bit like flying Chinese dumplings. I think they give the weapons. So probably best I concentrate on shooting them. I think the turtle probably I can ignore. Oh, I have an auto fire. This is handy. Be handy when taking care of Wonder Boy's idiot cousin there. Oh, who? I'm not going to get past Wonder Boy's idiot cousin at this rate, am I? I thought I might last a bit longer on this, being a shooter and all, but apparently not. Okay, right, so we need to shoot these things for power-ups. I don't know what the F did, improved my fire rate? I don't know. Oh, oh, lots of weapons now. Wonder Boy's for it now. Yeah, take that Wonder Boy. Oh, question mark. Door for going in. Welcome. I'll have some of that. Yes, it's a good choice. I've no idea what I've ordered from your menu, love. Oh, okay. So that's where the second button comes in. I've got a probably a limited use special attack. Yeah, we're doing a lot better now. We've got some decent weaponry. And we're actually concentrating. Oh, what? Oh, that was rubbish. This is one of those games with an annoying power down mechanic, which is oh, so annoying. I really, really hate that in games. Not as much as I hate those diagonal flying pig heads. Best I could take care of those all before they come and literally find my bacon. That doesn't work. Oh, there was a pig with a machine gun. That's not keeping in with the game's rustic aesthetic. Always oh, comes Wonder Boy's mate. Uh, and he died quickly. Right, let's go, go and order something else from the shop. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Let's have that. Good choice. Lovely. Well recommended. Thanks, love. I must remember to use the uh, secondary weapon. Yep, yeah, enjoying this so far. Now I've got the hang of things, got into the, the groove, so to say. I'll be sitting in a uh, bath of milk with rose petals before you know it. 
Oh, lost time. Here's some kind of phoenix thing. What the, the hitbox on this guy is probably absolutely gigantic. I managed to squeeze past that. Okay, the secondary weapon I've got is not great for a boss battle, but hey, I did it anyway. The fire phoenix is on fire. Isn't that what they're supposed to do? I guess so. You are great. Thank you very much. Accept a new title and 100,000 points and watch out. A new test. Quick. More training. This is a training exercise then, so I'm not actually doing anything more than bettering myself in the uh, ancient art of riding a cloud. Well, I can safely say I'm probably better qualified to ride a cloud now than I was pff, six minutes ago. Flying cat heads. Oh, the pigs are back. Oh, and there's... Is that a squirtle with a rifle? Squirtle with a rifle. Yep, okay, right, so we're probably on to our last life now. Oh, really? No weapons left. Now we're boned. Oh, damn it, spinning cat heads got me. So, there we go, Cloudmaster, that's um, sort of nice. Right, I'm cheating here. This is Rygar for the Mars system, except it's not really for the Mars system, it's technically the SG-3. But, hey, it's Rygar. Trust me on that. Let's fight. Okay, so, if you played Rygar, and I did play the arcade game fairly recently, you'll recognise this. This is fairly standard Rygar. Oh, shit, now that's different. Okay, right, so push up. You should do a like an arc attack where you, he throws his Beyblade wrist blade thing around in a semicircle. Oh shit, around himself and he just fires up in this. Which, okay, isn't massively different, but it did put me off my stride there. And you're not, your attack isn't quite as fast as it is in the arcade. Oh, you can still jump on their heads as well. So that's nice. And we've got two ends of stage. Do we get to hug a statue? No, we don't. We just go straight into the cave. Yeah, the... Attacking isn't quite as, uh, I'd say it's not as rapid fire enough, as rapid fire as the arcade version. So it just feels a little bit different. Like then, I mean, I went, I pressed the button again, but it didn't immediately throw the uh, silly Beyblade thing out. So you've got a time, no, there was just no way out of that at that point. It was just silly. We can shoot up through platforms, which is quite interesting and may be useful at some point. I think I mentioned before the NES version has like a more in the way of uh, RPG elements, and this has a dead end. Fantastic. Nothing says good game design like a, uh, a dead end like that, but fine. Now that's cheap as well. I should have hit both of those with one hit then, but I did not. Okay, one last try. This is slowly testing... Shit, my patience. Yeah, I don't think the collision detection is particularly generous with this. I mean, the presentation and the graphics are all well and good, but... That... Delay on using your... Uh, Stupid shield batarang is it's, it's almost game breaking. Oh, waterfall time. It means there's probably going to be some 
platforming over the waterfall to be done in a second, which I'm going to suck at and probably die doing. Here it is. And fireballs as well. Oh, okay. We have a pingier Beyblade now. And I'm surprised that fireball didn't kill me, but, you know, small mercies and all. Just keep on going. Keep on by going. There's no end. My guy will never stop until he uses, loses that last couple of lives. Yeah, the extended range here is definitely helping. Oh, shit. I've probably lost my extra, extra range Beyblade now. Yes, I have. That's annoying. Or is that... Can I get it back that quickly? No, I don't know what that was. Well, it's making a different sound. Oh! This is different from the arcade. Oh. Huh. How far do we continue? Yes, we can. I had to climb down there. I couldn't just jump down here. Oh, you can spring you around. That's springy. That's interesting. I, don't, I really don't think that bit's in the arcade game, but and off we go again. No, and we're dead. I think there's enough Rai going for now. Yeah, it's got a few differences from the arcade. I'm not entirely sure they're good differences, but once you get the power up for the shield armor, whatever it's called, it's that it actually makes it better. But it would be better if that particular upgrade to the uh, weapon was there from the beginning. Let's move along. Right, next up we have Bank Panic. Um, and this is a game that was I knew it was West Bank. It was a Commodore 64 game which was evidently a rip-off of this being an arcade game, but I used to know it as West Bank for a very long time, even before I knew there was an arcade version. So the idea is to um, shoot the bandits as they come through the doors, but not the people paying money in. Oh, sh oh I freed him. Okay, that's fine. And you can shoot hats off children. He's fine. Uh, yep. All good stuff. Oh, shit. Now, it's an arcade game with three buttons and, um, and a joystick. And the buttons represent, or at least correspond to firing at either the left, right or middle doors. And now we want door six to open because we want, oh, a child. The hell was that unfair? Am I going to wait for him to draw? I don't know. Anyway, I shot a civilian anyway, so, you know, collateral damage. So you would want somebody to deliver stuff to number three. Lovely. Nobody coming to number three? There we go, lovely. Nobody coming to number three. Anybody want to come to number three? Oh, right. Oh, crap. Sorry, love. Muscle memory just shot you in the boobs. Okay, let's have another try with that. Yep, she's okay. Yep, got him. Got him. Don't care if it's unfair. He had a gun. So he's coming towards us. And him as well. Come on, number six. Yep, yeah, number six. Deliver some cash. Yep, yeah, got him as well. Right, number three. Yep, yeah, thank you very much. Lovely. Oh, shit, you got a time limit. Someone's coming to door number six. The lady with some money. Luckily, they don't open the doors until you're looking at them, so it's not as case you need to, um... Oh, poo. It's just that itchy trigger finger on the left-hand side there. 
Gotta watch out for the people hiding behind the legitimate customers and yet shot that legitimate customer in the face. What if there's a really gory version of this out there somewhere? Yep, that told you. Look, it's not unfair if they've got a gun. I'm telling you. Oh, the two is a bomb. I was not expecting there to be a bomb. Yeah, I really don't care. If you're in my bank with a gun, you're going to get shot. Lots of times. Shooting hats off children is a national pastime. Anyway, free that guy. I don't know why he's coming to the bank all time. Oh, we finished the round and everybody's happy. Blocky cowboys rejoice the world over. Look at all that fat money I've had deposited into my bank. Probably won't get to see any of it because I'm probably getting, I don't know, two cents an hour or something, whatever the going rate was back in the 1800s. Right, so on to stage two, and nothing's changed, but everything goes a bit faster. Right, door six. It is a little boy with hats. Luckily, they pay money in too. Yep, saw so you coming. And you. Yep, it's time to get the hang of this now. Here's the door number 12. Right, door number 9. Thank you very much. Completed another round. Oh my god! Legoland cowboys are still rejoicing. More dollars. I think most people looking at this will probably think it was some kind of light gun game, but it's not. It's just three buttons on a pad and left and right. Except the Mars system's got two buttons, so you press down for the left hand side shot. Okay, right, so where are we going to start coming in? Oh, there's a guy already at door number three. There we go. Still don't understand why that's not fair. They were wanted, they had a gun, they were in my... Bank disturbing my paying customers. I've got a bonus for him. Oh, there's a bomb. Okay, block room number 10, door number 10. Oh, I accidentally shot that woman in the boobs. Sorry. So, yes, there is Bank Panic, aka West Bank, aka Barclays Super Saver Simulator. That's good fun. I recommend you play this. Right, next up it's another Sega Mark III game, which I don't actually care. Um, and this is Solomon's Key, or Solomon's Club, or whatever you want to call it. A rather twee little puzzle platform game. And I don't think I've played this version. But the idea is to get the key and get to the door. Oh, I like the music. I mean, I know the music to Solomon's Key. This is a nice version of the music. It's got that annoying problem that you pre have to press up to jump, though. It's just a little bit unwieldy. There we go. And we've freed the fairy. Let's get the key. Excellent. Huh. What the 
What am I supposed to do here? How am I supposed to get out of that? That is really strange. How's that? I mean, if I fall down there, I'm going to die. But if I put a block down there, I can't walk across. How the hell do you do that? Well, okay, let's jump down there and reset the level. Oh, that's not the bot. Right, okay, that's stupid. It's not even the bottom of the. It is the bottom of the stage. It's not a hole. I can. That's really ridiculous. Okay, we're now at this level. I do remember. Oh, that was a bad idea. Now, I can't remember how to actually do this level. You have to, um... Controls were just a little bit better. Oh, bollocks, and now they reversed. Jumping is a real pain. I wish they'd put jumping on the button. I know the second button is going to be used for the special weapons when you get them. But this is that was painful. There we go, that's more like it. Now, have I got time to go and get the fairy? I'm sure I have. Excellent. There we go. Right, stage three. Oh God, yeah, I remember this. This is irritating. This is gonna be really irritating with this broken jump mechanic. If you push up, you jump up, fair enough. If you push diagonal, you don't jump. You've almost got to like push up and roll it round. Like that. It's almost like doing a dragon punch. And that spinny thing is going to be a pain in the nads as well. Oh, what's that? That is one of my magic y things I, I, I can see. Like that. Oh, that was actually, <laughs> that was quite handy. There we go. Now this will be annoying because that thing will come out and follow me around. I've got a plan. This might not work. This could go horribly wrong. No, no, that worked as planned. Now stop it from coming back after me. I shall block it off. It will finally come, come around to me, but not yet. The plan worked. I can't believe that worked. And that thing's just staying there. Oh, okay. Oh, we're out of time. Yeah, Solomon's Key with that control method is actually painful to play. That jumping mechanic is just broken. So there were four random mass system games. What did you think of them? Comment below. 
here, subscribe or naff off.